Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the value of Ixlon. Is the value there? Uh, before I go ahead and say this, I'm not going to be buying very much of this set, uh, mainly because I'm saving money for Unstabled and Iconic Masters and 25th Anniversary Masters, which I assume is going to be more hype than Iconic Masters since it will have to compete with that before it. So the prices on Ixlon are a lot different from what we've seen recently, mainly due to the fact that we don't have masterpieces soaking up a lot of the value. Masterpieces are not in this set, therefore there's more, exp there's more value that has to be eaten up by the Mythics. So we start with Vraska, very good card, $20 regular and $40 foil, not much to say about this, it's kind of a jumping point. These prices are from Star City Games, so take that with a grain of salt. What's interesting here is a lot of the foils actually have a multiplier that's over 100%. And as a pre-order, I kind of get that because there's less foils out there, but still interesting to note. Overflowing Insight is $3. Rowdy Crew, which is the mythic that a lot of people are talking about. I don't know if it can see modern play just for the fact that it costs four. If it was a lot two or cheaper, it would definitely see play. Uh, so that's $5. Star of Extinction is a $5 foil or a $2 regular card. So it's pretty much bulk mythic at this point. And Tristana is a $4 card. So you see that if you generally get a mythic, you can't, it's 50-50 whether or not you make back the value of the pack. I like these cards. I think they are very good and creative. However, there aren't, there's not really a, a place to put all the value, right? You have the two planeswalkers and you only had two in the set, but you really needed something else. You needed something just kind of epic, maybe a Nicol Bolas type of deal to be that chase card. As we're gonna talk about later, there's not that chase card or cards that is like super expensive as a non-foil. Foil is kind of just out there because there's not enough of it in the market to really know what the price is. All right, now let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other mythics. So we have the Awakening Sun Avatar, which is a $3 non-foil but it is a whopping $15 foil. So that's interesting if you can trade into one of these in foil at pre-release or trade away one of them, it should be pretty good. And then you have Vona Butcher of Magon, which is a $7 regular card and $25 foil. So let me kind of explain what's going on here. The mythics themselves are not soaking up value. It's the foil mythics that Star City Games, at least, has determined is where the value is at. So how much, how much change have we actually made from the Masterpiece editions? Not that much. If you look at the seven, the three, again, these are mythics, right? These are the chase cards of the set. You have to hit something like a foil to get over $20, even as a Planeswalker. Oh, well, you actually have free Planeswalkers. I forgot who T, which I'll talk about um, in the next slide. It's, there's not that much, in my opinion, if you had to choose, and I'm, have, I'm having to choose, I'm gonna make a heart-to-heart a -heart video about the repacks and the whole Peeker scam. And also, I'm gonna make a second video about, you know, just there's too much product. You have 2017 Commander, which was a, an excellent product. For, it's a good value for your money, right? It's definitely, you got your money's worth. And then you have Unstable, which I, I assume every pack will have a land and you will get your money's worth. And then you have Iconic Masters and what I'm most dreadful of. So in the gotcha games I play, like Fire Emblem and other games like that where, you know, then they hit you with a banner and then the next banner is even better and then they hit you with the next banner because the only way they can get people to spend more money is if, in this case, 25th anniversary is significantly better than Iconic Masters, which I totally believe it will be. All right, so let's take a look at some more mythics. We have Admiral Beckett at 
X Axis of Mortality at $3, Boneyard Parody at $3, and Carnage Tyrant at $12, which is interesting, right? I mean, you look at the card, it's a strong card. I'm not going to say it's a bad card, and it's a dinosaur. It might see some play, but if this is like your Chase Mythic outside of Planeswalker, you're kind of in trouble. Um, yeah, you got the Sun's Avatar, which is also nice, but that's free colors. And if anything, we know that unless the meta is perfectly aligned and your mana base is very much set, free colors is very difficult to do. I mean, because at that point, you have to say, hmm, I'm going to build my deck around this dinosaur deck. And that's all I'm going to do. So I'm skeptical of how... I'm a little skeptical of the dinosaur deck. We will see if it does become a real deck. It seems like well put together but i i just have problems seeing it being beating red deck wins or red deck all right now we'll take a look at a few other ones a uh, dire fleet ravager i mean it's a good card i don't want to say it's a it's a bad card it does a lot a lot of damage and it has menace and death touch so it's a very very good blocker it's just like it costs five right that's a lot now we have Gistar, Sun's Avatar, which costs eight. Oh, it costs eight and it's worth eight dollars. You have Huti, which at twenty, and then Jace at twenty. So between the planeswalkers, you have them all sitting at nineteen ninety nine. And this is Star City Games, so I'm sure you can buy it cheaper. And there's not anything else. There's no card above twenty dollars. Non foil from Star City Games at this moment in time. Now, yes, that can change daily as people brew decks, but that does not scream. Um, and again, it's a comparison, right? I'm not saying this set as a standalone is bad. If this was the only set and I had some money, yeah, I would throw it at this set. But I want, I need to be prepared for Unstable, which is guaranteed value. Commander 2017, which was guaranteed value. And Mm, maybe a little bit of Iconic Masters. It kind of depends um, if I'm really feeling it. Uh, I What my biggest fear is that 25th anniversary is just going to blow Iconic Masters out of water because otherwise, why would people buy... If Iconic Masters was better than 25th anniversary and both of them were out at the same time, which they should be because, I mean, even Modern Masters 2017 is still out right now in boxes for under MSRP then, you know, why would anyone buy this new set? Why would anyone buy 25th Anniversary? So 25th Anniversary, in my opinion, has to be better. It, it just ha Otherwise, I know how a gotcha game works, right? And this feels like a gotcha game right now. Anyway, bye guys.